Hi folks, St. Paul's team here with a little generator I thought was worth mentioning. Uh, you can see it's on eBay right here, and there's the, the full description. And uh, you can actually get these for, if you buy four of them, for about four and a quarter each, delivered. I think I've got five or six in this one. I bought one for each of my grandchildren, and so I got them for four and a quarter total. And it's actually a fun little generator. Probably take you 20 to 30 minutes to put together the first time because the instructions are crap. But there are pictures, so that'll help you out. And uh, once you build one, you can build another one probably 10 or 15 minutes. And it actually puts out quite a bit of light, really. I was surprised. I got in her bedroom last night and turned off all the lights. And I was surprised. It's light. You know, it is what it is. And uh, me being me, I thought, well, I'll do a little modifying to it and uh, I made a pulley for it and uh, it doesn't run terribly true but good enough and we got the Jensen 35 and a half rare to go let's see here. I think I have to flip the belt to make it go it won't this generator will not produce power running the opposite direction and uh, let's see. Here we go. Ain't that fun? For about five bucks. In 20, 30 minutes of time, while you're sitting in your chair in front of the TV, you can build a little generator for your steam engine. I don't know how long it'll last. It's just an axle going to press forward, but actually, it's a pretty tight fit. And I have a feeling it has some life to it. It's uh, just a neat little deal. Tell me how everything works. And you get kids, or grandkids. You throw that together and pull it over, and it's spinning around. You can make even a wooden pulley, I suppose, for your steam engine. I love it. I just want to share that with you because I thought maybe. Uh, I really enjoy that. It's a really inexpensive accessory. Let's see anything. It does work. Alright now. Thanks for looking. Bye.